In this video, you're going to learn how to find the number of terms in a series when you're given the sum as well as the summation notation. We're going to go through four examples together. We'll do the first couple uh, together and then I encourage you to try the last two on your own and we'll go through those together as well. So the first example here, we're given this summation notation and they tell us that the sum is 713, but we want to find n, the number of terms in this series. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing you want to recognize is is this an arithmetic series or a geometric series or something else? Well, I notice that this is like the equation of a line. It's in that linear form like y equals mx plus b. And that gives me a hint that it's going to be basically an arithmetic series. But if you're not sure, what you can do is we can plug in this index here. So if I put in 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 7 is 9. That's our first term. If I put 2 in, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 7 is 11. I put in 3, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 7 is 13. And if I put in n, that gives us 2n plus 7. That represents our nth term or our last term. So I can see here I'm adding 2 each time, which confirms that this is an arithmetic series, which means that we're going to be using this arithmetic sum formula right here. And so we're given the sum, which is 713. We don't know the number of terms, that's n. A sub 1 represents our first term, which is 9, and then 2n plus 7 represents our last term. Just remember, this came from putting in this top index. That's how I got the 2n plus 7. Now all we have to do is solve that equation for n, and we'll know how many terms are in our series. So the first thing I would do is I'd multiply both sides by 2, just to get rid of this fraction here. So I'm going to multiply the right side by 2, the left side by 2. That gives us 1,426. Uh, this 9 plus 7 is 16, so this is 2n plus 16. But if I distribute the n in, that's going to give us 2n squared plus 16n. I'm going to subtract the 1,426 to the other side, just to get everything on one side, set it equal to 0. And we could divide everything by 2. Let's do that just to make this a little bit simpler. And we're back to the 713. Okay, now we could try to factor this and set the factors to 0. But because the numbers are kind of large here, I'm just going to do the quadratic formula. So you could also do completing the square. Uh, so using the quadratic formula, n would equal negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. You thought you were done with the quadratic formula, but it, it does come in handy sometimes, right? And so now let's go to the calculator and just simplify this. So what do we have here? We've got uh, okay, we've got negative 8 plus the square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 713, all divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. That comes out to 23, okay? Or if I was to do negative 8 minus, that's going to give us a negative uh, quantity here. So let's just to show you what this comes out to, negative 8 minus it comes out to negative 31, which doesn't make sense. We can't have a negative 31 terms here. So n equals 23 tells us that there's 23, 23 terms in this series here. Let's do number two now. Now number two, you'll notice that this expression here is like an exponential function. You've got that variable in the exponent position. And that gives us a hint that this is going to be a geometric series. It looks kind of like this right here, our explicit formula for geometric uh, sequences and series. But if you're not sure, start with this index here. Let's put 1 in. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 to the 0 is 1. Times 3 is 3. Notice I'm doing the order of operations or the PEMDAS. So parentheses, exponents, then multiplication. If we put 2 in the next uh, term. That's going to be 2 minus 1, which is 1. 2 to the first is 2. Times 3 is 6. If I put 3 in, 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Times 3 is 12. Dot, dot, dot. It keeps going. But what you'll notice is we're multiplying by 2 each time. That's our R value or our geometric ratio. So now we're dealing with a series. We're going to use this finite geometric sum formula for geometric series. And we've got the sum, which is 6,141. That equals uh, A sub 1, which is 3, our first term. 1 minus our ratio, which we said was 2. We're multiplying by 2 each time. N is the number of terms that's we're going to solve for over 1 minus the ratio, which is 2. OK, so if we simplify this now, a 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3. If we divide both sides by negative 3, what does that come out to? 
it's negative 2047. If we subtract one from both sides, that gives us negative 2048. If we multiply both sides by negative one, that gives us a positive 2048. And then now we can figure out two to what power is 2048. Now I could do a little guess and check. Uh, so it looks like it's 11. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Or you could rewrite this in the logarithmic form. You could say log base two of 2048 equals n, and that will also give you 11. So a couple different options. So 11 terms in this series. Let me erase the whiteboard. See if you can do these next two examples on your own. We'll go through them together, but see if you can get some practice. Okay, for number three, I'm thinking that this is an arithmetic series, right? Because you can see this is like a linear uh, function, like a y equals mx plus b type form. But again, I like to sometimes just reassure myself by putting one in. So uh, five minus three times one, that would give us two. If I put two, three times two is six, five minus six is negative one. If I put uh, three in, that's uh, nine, five minus nine is negative four. If I put uh, n in, that's gonna be five minus 3n. So that represents our last term or our nth term. But notice we're subtracting 3 each time, which makes sense because this is like the slope, like negative 3 when you write the equation of a line. So I know this is an arithmetic series. I just have to figure out how many terms, right? So we say, okay, let's use our arithmetic sum formula, this top one here. They give us the sum is negative 3,288 uh, equals, and the number of terms, which we don't know, the first term, which is 2, the last term, which is 5 minus 3n. Okay, so we've got everything we need. We just have to solve for n. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 just to get rid of this fraction here. So that comes out to how much? It's uh, negative 6,576. Okay, and then this over here is n times. Now let's combine some like terms here. This is 7 minus 3n. We can distribute the n. So that would give us negative 3n squared plus 7n. And I'm going to add the 6,576 to the other side so I can get everything on one side and you know, set it equal to 0. Now you could try to factor this, or I'm just going to use a quadratic formula again since these numbers are quite large. So we have n equals uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a. Okay, going to the calculator now, let's see what we get. Double check my work on this. Uh, let's see, negative 7 plus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times a times c. Okay, uh, let's see, make sure I type this in right. Mm -hmm. Okay, all divided by, okay. Now if I do the minus 1, See what that is. Okay, so it comes out to 48. So that, see one of the terms came out negative, which doesn't make sense, you can't have a negative number of terms. So this comes out to n equals 48. So 48 terms in our series here. Now for number four, the last one, see if you can do this one. Uh, go ahead and pause the video. This one looks to be a geometric series. Again, notice that a, b to the x form, or this a1, r to the n minus one form. Again, you can check, Check it by putting in 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 half to the 0 is 1. Times 8 is 8. That's our first term. If I put 2 in, 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 half to the first is a half. Times 8 is 4. If I put 3 in, 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Times 8 is 2. And you can see we're multiplying by a half each time, which is this base here, or this R value, our geometric ratio. So we're going to use our geometric sum formula. To find the number of terms, we know the sum is 511 over 32. And let's see, the first term we said was 8. I'm just using this formula right here. 1 minus the ratio, which we said is 1 half, to the nth power. That's the number of terms, all over 1 minus the ratio. Okay, so now 1 minus a half is a half. Okay, and 8 divided by a half, well, when you divide by a half, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's actually 16. Okay, and now I'm going to divide both sides by 16. Again, we're working from the outside in towards n here. So divide by 16, which is like multiplying by 1 16th. So that comes out to 
let's see, so what's 16 times 32? 512, so we have 511 over 512. If we subtract one, okay, which is really like subtracting 512 512ths, right, because that's like minus one. So that gives us negative one over 512 equals negative one half to the n. If I multiply both sides by negative one, that gets rid of the negatives there. And again, I can do some uh, guess and check, or I can use logarithms. Uh, let's just double check here. So maybe if I do, let's see, one half, maybe to the, let's just try something here. How about, no, maybe one. Now, what you can also do too is, see, this is like one half. You could take the reciprocal of both sides and say like 512 equals two to the n. That's gonna be the same thing. So let's try that. So two to the, uh, okay, so it's, it's two to the ninth. So this is actually n equals nine. So I kind of did that trial and error. If you wanted to use logarithms, what you would do is you'd say log base two of 512 is equal to n. And that will give you nine terms as well. So a couple different ways to do it. Great job if you're able to follow these examples. Now I've got a video that is a good review if you're practicing sequences and series, maybe getting ready for a quiz or a test. And uh, I'll put that video right there. You can get some more practice learning more about how to you know, write the formulas and find sums and you know, do some word problems, et cetera. So follow me over to that video right there. We'll get some more practice. I'll see you over there.